Hello everyone and welcome. You know, the other day I was wandering around Amazon looking for some good products to review and I came across this multimeter and wire crimper tool combo kit that we'll be looking at today. I read through some of the features and I thought to myself that these might be some good products that some of my viewers might be interested in. This combo kit brings an economical and easy to use smart multimeter and a smart crimping tool all for the price of what some multimeters alone might cost you. Since many of my viewers are DIYers and you don't need some super fancy tools, but you want to be able to do basic electrical work without spending a fortune, I thought that these tools looked like some good guys to review. So if you've been looking for an easy to use multimeter and wire crimpers at an affordable price, stick around as I unbox and test these guys in this video. Alright guys, so when you unbox these guys, this is everything you get. So let's talk a little bit about some of the features that these guys have, but before we get started testing these guys, do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, that way you get notified every time I do another product review video, DIY project, or a sale at a big box store where I can help you save even more money. Alright then, so this is a digital multimeter and smart wire crimper set from Tesman, available on Amazon, link in description below. Now at the time of making this video, this kit, this bundle, retails for $32.99. Now when I was looking at this, the bundle was a better deal, but they do sell the tools individually if you want to go that route. I'll put links to everything down below, check it out, whatever you're watching this video, check the pricing and see if buying it individually is better or buying the bundle is better. Pick whatever works best for you. Now the warranty on these guys are 3 years and the dimensions on these guys for the meter you're looking at 4.5 inches by 2.25 inches by 1 inch in thickness and the leads on it are 33 inches long. For the crimper you're looking at 8 inches by about 3 inches. So what do you get when well, you unbox these guys? Well for the crimper itself you get the crimper and you get some batteries that come with it that I already put into the unit and you get the owner's manual that tells you everything about this guy, how to set it up, take care of it, all that kind of good stuff. For the meter, you get the meter itself, you get some wire leads to be able to hook it up and do your testing, you get a nice little pouch to keep it all stored in when you're not using it, and you get the owner's manual that tells you everything about this guy, how to use it, set it up, all that kind of good stuff. And the owner's manuals come in like 5 or 6 different languages, so everyone should be able to read through them without any problems. Now let's talk about these guys individually, let's start off with the multimeter, and then we'll move on to the wire crimpers. Now this unit is a 4000 count smart multimeter, so it's super easy to use. It automatically detects whatever it is that you're testing. It has auto testing for AC and DC voltage, resistance, and continuity. It also has a non-contact voltage tester built right in. This little guy is CAT2 600 volt rated and has overload protection to protect it from any damage. This guy has a thick rubber overmold to protect it from damage in case you drop it. And this guy also has a convenient backlit display and a built-in flashlight so you can use it conveniently in dark areas. Now this little guy is so easy to use that it's great for beginners, DIYers, homeowners, or just about anyone that wants to do some basic electrical testing but doesn't have a lot of knowledge about how to use complicated multimeters. This is definitely not intended for professionals or people with considerable experience using multimeters that want to do complicated readings. This meter is more for someone that is just starting out and wants to be able to do some basic electrical testing. It's not very expensive, but it is better quality than the cheapy multimeters from Harbor Freight. Now what about the wire stripper? Now this is an automatically adjusting smart wire stripper. This wire stripper will automatically adjust from 10 to 24 gauge when doing some wire stripping. This unit is a 4-in-1 wire stripper, wire cutter, wire crimper, and non-contact voltage tester. That's right, this wire stripper and wire crimper has a trick up its sleeve. Unlike most other wire strippers on the market, this little guy will alert you if the wire that you're going to be working on is live or not. So even if you're careless, this little guy will watch over you so there's no chance of getting electrocuted by some silly mistake. This guy also has some nice rubbery anti-slip handles making it easy to use. So this wire crimper is great for the beginner, DIY, or the professional. Anyone that works with electrical wiring can use this guy for wire cutting, crimping, and stripping. Plus, you also have the added security that you'll never hit a live wire because this little guy will prevent that from happening. 
So let's take a little closer look at these guys and see how they perform. All right, guys. So let's start off by taking a little closer look at the multimeter itself. As you can see, this guy is really, really small. There you go. About the size of my hand. Very compact little guy. When you compare it to other multimeters that are much bigger and bulkier, this guy is really tiny. Very compact. Easy to put into a drawer somewhere. Easy for anybody to use it. As you see, it only has a few buttons there on the side. You have the no contact right there and the uh, data hold on off button and your flashlight and backlit display. You hold this guy to turn it on and there you go. It goes on and it's always in auto mode and it's always scanning for whatever it is that you're doing and it'll select from there which one to pick. You don't have a way to pick which one it is that you want to use. And there, like I said, you have the no contact testing which is right up here. You just put it up against something right there. I'll show you in a moment. And it tells you if you have a live wire or not. The backlit display, there you go. The flashlight, there you go right there. You have your flashlight and it lights up your way for you if you need to see something in the dark. And you press it and hold it and it goes off. Now, as far as this rubber cover, look at that. It has a convenient little rubbery cover to protect the guy so if it falls, it won't break. And you put the batteries in here. It came with two batteries and I put them in right before we started. So that's very easy to take care of that guy. And you pop the guy back in there and you're ready to go. It only has two slots right there for the two leads. That's all there is. There aren't multiple locations like some other multimeters are. Like I said, this one is very easy. That's all it does right there. Voltage, continuity, resistance, all that stuff. That's all it does. It's great for beginners, not for experienced users, not for people that have a lot of knowledge how to use this stuff and want to do complicated things like diodes and stuff like that. Not going to work for those guys. But for the beginners, it's great. And for the DIY homeowner, someone that wants to do simple stuff around the house, it is great and it is economical. So let's do a little bit of testing to it, this guy, and see how it works. Let's put it together. And then you put the comm in there. And you put the hot one in there. And you're ready to go. You're ready to start doing some testing. Now let's put it over here. And uh, let's do some... AC voltage testing. I have this guy here. Let me plug it into the wall. Okay, plugged it into the wall. You see it's live right there. Turn it off. Turn it back on. And if we take this guy here, and let me take the two leads out of here. And let me see, put it this way. So it's a little easier. The wire is a little crazy. So we'll just test this guy out right now. As you see, it's doing its testing right there. We put it into the two leads. And it tells us right there, what is going on you see right there it selects voltage and you're talking alternating current 119 volts right there remember north american current is 110 to 120 so that's what you get right there 119 volts it's right in the range i didn't have to touch anything i didn't have to do anything i just put it right into the sockets and it did it all by itself so that's very convenient right there now if i wanted to do let me get this guy out of here if I wanted to do the non-contact voltage testing, then we select that guy right there, and it'll go to the non-contact voltage. And let's put it right next to this guy. And you see right there, it's testing live. It depends which one you're next to, whether it'll go green or not. See, that's the hot wire right there. That's the neutral on that side. So it tells you which one is hot and which one is not. So it basically shows you very easily. And then, you know, if you put it next to this, You'll see it right there on the wire, it's showing you it's a hot wire. Take it away, nothing. Put it right next to it, you have the hot wire in there. Because you have all the wires bundled up together in there, so it just senses the hot one. Here, it's a little different because they're spaced out. So there you have neutral right there, and then you have the live one there. So as far as that goes, it worked perfectly fine. Now, how about something simple like continuity? I set up this switch right here, and you see I uh, put the wires and I wrapped it around the leads and so forth. Right now, if nothing's going on, I turn it on and automatically it starts testing for resistance, continuity, etc. You can see if the switch is good or not. Turn it off, and it goes to OL. Oh, well, there's nothing there. Nothing there at all, so it starts searching for what else. Turn it back on, and there you go, and it starts testing for that. So it works fine as far as that goes. Now, let's uh, take this off of here, and how about doing some DC voltage testing? Here we have a 3-volt battery, so let's see what it tells us. Uh, let's see, I believe uh, ne uh, the positive is up there, the negative is down here. And what does it tell us? 3.7 volts. There you go. And that is DC current right there. 
So I didn't have to do anything. I basically just touched the least or whatever it is that I want to do. And it does the job for me because it's automatic. It automatically starts checking to see whatever it is that I'm doing. And you put it back on, and there you go, 3.7 volts. Very convenient indeed. So as far as a simple little multimeter that you want just a few things to do for normal, simple little things around the house, and you're starting out, you want to test out some electronics, uh, voltage in your house and batteries and so forth, things like this, there you go. And it works just fine for automotive batteries and all that kind of stuff as well. So very economical, simple to use, simple little multimeter right there. All right, guys, so let's talk a little bit now about the wire stripper. Let's take a little closer look at it. As you can see, it's your basic wire stripper. It has nice rubber overmold on the handles to make it easier to grip and so forth and protect you from any kind of, you know, electrocution or any of that kind of stuff if you happen to touch uh, a live wire, which you shouldn't because this guy has that non-contact voltage tester. But as far as the unit itself, it's pretty much the same as any other kind of stripper out there. You see that it has the automatic heads. They basically come down and strip the wire apart just like a normal one would both heads come down at the same time this one grabs it that one cuts it and then they pull it apart and that's how easy it is to do and it adjusts to the thickness of the wire and then you have this guy right here which is a length selector you can adjust it to basically give you whatever length you want to cut on your wire for example let me put a wire in here and then you can see on there, that is the stopper that stops it. And then you select how far you want to cut that wire. Or if you want to go further, you just take it off. And then you have full length to do whatever you want. So that's your typical features of a wire stripper. Then you have your wire cutter, wire crimper, all that kind of stuff right there, like a normal unit. And on the back of it, that is where you have the non-contact voltage tester. And the batteries for this guy go in there. And there is your on-off button. And you turn it on and you're ready to go. And we're going to test this in a moment. But I know the question that's going through all your guys' mind is, well, how big and bulky is this guy really? Well, okay, let me give you an example right here. Here is another unit that I have from another manufacturer. As you can see, they are pretty much identical. It is basically the same exact design. The same thing. It only changes when you get up here to the head and you can see that the Tesman this guy right here is a little bit thicker than the other one because it has that non-contact voltage tester attached to the back of the head of it. This one doesn't have it, so it's a little bit thinner. That is the only thing you're going to notice. Pretty much everything else, it is the same exact dimension, just a little tiny bit thicker. Just a few millimeters. You know, maybe... Uh, an eighth of an inch, something like that, not a heck of a lot. Not a quarter of an inch at the absolute most. So it's not extremely thick at all. So the added safety that it brings you is well worth it. Like, let's test it right now. For example, I have this live wire right here. You can see that is light bulb, it is live, okay? So let's test it down here where I know it's gonna be live. And There you go right there, it tells you that it's a live wire. If I was gonna crimp it and cut into it, oh, that would not be good because it would tell me it's live. It's not a good idea to do that. So there you go. And you can see the light through it down here. It may not show on the camera, but I can see it through there. But I'm showing you more clearly that you can see right there, it tells you you should not cut into that wire. So that is not a smart idea. And it's really blinking away and really being annoying. But when you take it away, it's green, you're safe, easy to go, do whatever it is you want to do. Now let's do some cutting. And I have different lengths of wire here. Put this little guy in here. And let's see, let's hold it in there. And we do some cutting and you're done. Easy enough. That's how easy that is. And you want to do more. And obviously you strip it off the end and you can go much, much longer. You want to go thinner. Look at this, a tiny, tiny little wire. Really thin. Can it handle the tiny ones? Yes, it can. No trouble at all. And obviously I left it on there because I went too far back. And then if you want to cut it, let's just cut it. You want to cut the wire? There you go. Easy peasy. You cut it off. You want to start with a fresh new end to it. And there you go. You cut that off. And then you cut it and you're ready to go. Easy as that. You want to pick a different one. Now this is a solid wire right here. I don't know if you can see that. That is a solid wire. Let's cut that off and start fresh. Easy peasy. You want to cut that off? There you go. That is a solid wire. That one is not a stranded wire. And it cut through that without any trouble at all. So there you go. It does the job as far as protecting you from not hitting a live wire. 
and it's telling me it's going to shut itself off because I'm not using it. But it protects you from a live wire and basically it cuts wiring and stuff like that as you need it. So very convenient, easy tool to have on hand. Very good for beginners, pros, everyone in between. Very nice little tool. All right, guys, there you have it. A review and demonstration of a pair of very convenient and economical tools for stripping and testing electrical wiring. The meter is great for the beginner that doesn't know much about electrical circuitry. It's a smart meter, so it'll help you make the correct decision based on your input. The wire stripper, on the other hand, is great for either beginners or pros alike. It helps you cut and crimp wire, but it also helps keep you safe from cutting into a live wire. Now, I know you're supposed to be sure that any wire that you're testing is not live before you cut into it, but accidents do happen. Sometimes you get careless and sometimes wires are mislabeled. You think you turned off the power and it's actually still live. There are hundreds of videos on the web showing how easily this can happen. So with this little guy, you're certain to be safe. Buy them separately or in a bundle, your choice. Check out the links below for all the details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye for now.